Let's go over to Charlotte, North Carolina. Greg, welcome to the line of fire. Good evening, Dr. Brown. Shalom to you. Shalom. I'm a, I'm a black Jew, and we get ridiculed a lot for saying that there were black Jews in the Bible. And I just want to clear up a couple things. In the Song of Solomon, it says Solomon, he says it in, in his own words, don't fear me because I am black. So he was a black Jew, which was the son of David. Wait, wait, hang, hang Jesus, on. We're, wait, 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 hang on. Can I no, 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 great, great, great. Just, just one second. If you're going to quote scripture, you've got to quote it accurately. You say that was Solomon speaking? Yes. Okay. You're sure it wasn't the woman speaking? No, it was Solomon. You're sure of that? I'm positive of that. Uh-huh. All right. So uh, do you want to draw me to the particular verse? Um, I think it's Solomon, Solomon verse 115. Uh-huh. He says, don't look down on me because I am black. And us as black Jews, we get ridiculed a lot by Christians and Jewish of not our relation, of, of, of our, I want to say race. And right, right. But you're, so, so you're, out. right, you're, you're talking, uh, you're, you're talking about verse six. All right. Do not gaze at me because I'm dark, because the sun has looked upon me. My mother's sons were angry with me. They made me keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard I have not kept. That's the woman speaking there. Well, okay. Then another point I want to bring out that there is black people that are Jewish, is how could Abraham, I mean, not Abraham, how could Moses be this, um, chosen as Pharaoh's son if he wasn't of color? And if he was of color, how could he know that his people, which were the chosen people of Israel, the same color as him? Yeah, Greg, do you know who how the Nubians were? Have you ever heard of the Nubians? Yes. They were black slaves in Egypt. And if you ever see a painting from ancient Egypt... The Nubians I, I are black. I have been to the pyramids. Right. I okay, have so the, the Nubians, the Nubians black. are black, and the Egyptians are of a lighter color, just like in Egypt today. So, 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 so that's what I'm. That's that's the point I'm trying to bring up to you, Doctor Brown. If the slaves were black, he wanted his people to go. Let my no, people no, no, go, no, 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 no. The Nubian. No, here's the point. The Nubian. But on the pyramid, but on great, the great, pyramid, great. The, the Nubian. Are... The Nubians were not the Israelites. The Nubians so, so were black, Jesus hide and they. In Egypt, then? Excuse me. How could Jesus hide in Egypt? Because he was he a Middle Eastern man. He was he was lighter than you and darker than me. He was a Middle Eastern man, just like the Egyptians today. The Egyptians today that, are that, that not Negroes. That, that, that can't be true. That he was a Middle Eastern man if his feet were like burnt brass. Burnt brass has a color on it. That is not Middle Eastern. It's more darker, correct? Uh, okay. He also has a sword bad, coming. It is. It is a darker, picture. Correct? It is a picture in a vision. What about Lamentations four? That your priests were hey, white hey, like on, snow. On, on, Lamentations other, four. The priests were white like war. snow. Well, Greg. What Greg. Other we race can't. Race Greg, like? Greg. 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 We can't. All right. First, you start off with Solomon. You're wrong. Solomon is not speaking there. It is the woman that is speaking. Okay. It is the woman that is speaking. And she's saying she's dark and that she has been tanned by the sun. Okay? So her skin is dark by the sun. If you're a Middle Eastern person, your skin is darker than mine and lighter than yours. And that skin darkened by the sun would be pretty dark, but it is not Negroid. All right? That's the first thing. There was a dispute when Moses married a Cushite woman in Numbers 12. Cushites were Ethiopians. She could have been upset because she was African, and Moses and Aaron and Miriam weren't happy with that. But the fact of the matter is the Israelites were not Negroid. They were Middle Eastern. Now let's just go to Revelation, the first chapter. Okay, since you mentioned that, here's a, here's a picture of Jesus appearing. All right, so let's 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 just look. All right. And let's check out the description here. The hairs of his head were white, like white wool, like snow. His eyes were like a flame of fire. Is this a description of just your average person? His feet were like burnished bronze, refined in a furnace, and his voice was like the roar of many waters. This is a glorified vision where he's shining like someone burning in a furnace. Okay, that's the picture. It's not a description of Negro. If Jesus was a black man, fine, so be it. If Moses was a black man, fine. And if they were Caucasians, fine. And if they were Asian, fine. It's immaterial to me. But factually, the ancient Israelites were not Negroid. And in point of fact, if you'll trace history, we can trace where 
Jews were expelled from various countries. We know the communities where they lived, Greg. We, we know this for fact. We know when Jews were expelled from, from uh, Judah by the Babylonians. We know as the communities they developed in Babylon. We know the communities they developed in ancient Egypt in different parts of the world. We have their inscriptions. And then you can trace them through the centuries and see where they continue. All right. And then DNA tests would confirm this. And you have some intermarriage along the way so that you have uh, Jews in India who look Indian and Jews in China who look Chinese and Jews in Africa who look African and Jews in Europe who look European. That's through intermarriage. But the ancient Israelites were Middle Eastern. So that's simple, simple facts. And Jesus in a vision here, oh, he's got he's got a sword coming out of his mouth. OK, uh, in his right hand, he had seven stars from his mouth came a sharp two edged sword. His face was like the sun shining in full strength. Well, that's not black. His face is like the sun shining in full strength. That's that's much more white. You can't deduce the skin color of Jesus from this picture here, Greg. Please, I hope I hope you can see this. So I, I, I had to just put you on hold for a moment because two of us can't talk at the same time. But just to, to this is what come I'm back to, to you, you, Dr. Brown, Dr. Brown, go ahead. His hair was like wool. Name me another race that hair was like African-American. Name me a race other than white just, no, that no, no, shines no, like has question. a face that answer shines like the sun. Well, Dr. Brown, I've Dr. met Brown, Indian. I've question. met Indians and Middle Eastern people whose hair is like wool. OK, that's a lie, Dr. Brown. That's a lie. All right. All right, all right. Greg, tell you what. I know you're trying to be respectful when you refer to me as Dr. Brown, but when you tell me I'm lying, I've got I got no time for this. Listen, I I remember we had a conversation previously, and you're, every time I refuted what you had to say, you said, well, we're going to agree to disagree. No, 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 I'm not going to agree to disagree. What you're saying is factually wrong. Does, and does Jesus literally have a sword coming out of his mouth? No, it's a vision. And the sun, when you look at the sun shining, that is that is bright. That is like white. So you're going to make an argument then that is his, he's got black feet, but he's got a white face. No, no, it's a vision. And he's being depicted in these visionary ways. Greg, why not learn to be a disciple of Jesus and put skin color aside? I could care less if I'm white, if I'm black. I could care less if the ancient Israelites were white, if they're black. I want to be a disciple and loyal to God and follow him as a Jewish believer and live in a way that honors him. I'd encourage you to put this secondary stuff aside because it's based on falsehoods, errors, misinterpretations. All right. And by the way, if you're black, you don't need to be tanned by the sun. I understand you can get darkened as a black person, but you don't need to be tanned by the sun to explain the darkness, and also tell me how the Israelite princes in Lamentations 4 were white like snow or white like milk. How's that? And now darkened through mourning and grief and ashen-faced. No, I don't believe they were Caucasian, but you're not going to make these arguments about skin color through misinterpretation of verses. <sighs> I, I do hope you have ears to hear. I hope you have ears to hear because you're on a path of, of error, sir. You seem like a nice guy, respectful guy, but please don't be blinded. 